Three years ago, when I moved to Vancouver Island, I did a hike out to Cream Lake, which is a gorgeous hike. You get a glimpse of Big Interior Mountain, which soon became the top hike on my bucket list. It's finally time to get this one done. I showed up a few hours early to head into Baby Bedwell Lake, where I'll set up my tent and camp for the night. In the morning, my friends Dean and Aaron will be joining me as they're sleeping at the trailhead and doing the entire thing as a day hike, because they're crazy. So you see these red berries here? I believe these are red elderberry, but uh, they really stink. And when I mean they stink, they actually stink a lot. They smell like poop. <laughs> They're really bad. Don't eat this. Good morning, and uh, a little rainy, but not too bad. It's time to go up uh, Big Interior. Getting up at 6 a.m., my friends Aaron and Dean headed up from the trailhead and met me in just an hour and a half at Baby Bedwell Lake. Here, up on the bluff above Bedwell Lake, we get a glimpse of Big Interior Mountain. Going up there, right on that edge. I did. I think you did. <laughs> oh shit! I missed my hand on your shoulder though. We're gonna, we're gonna do Wesley and Horn, Dean. We're gonna do both. Yeah, Dean. Horn Our first major objective of the day was now complete, getting on top of this unnamed mountain. Despite it being quite large and over 1,500 meters in elevation, for the rest of the day it was known as Little Interior Mountain. It actually got a few names like Big Exterior Mountain, but I think Little Interior Mountain is a much more suitable name. So we're currently on the side of Big Interior and we will drop down into a little courier, cooler, cooler. Uh, you know, for that reason, you don't go all the way to the top here because you can't actually get across the top.
This rocky descent down into the valley below was hard on the knees, but it gave us a perfect view of Big Interior Mountain straight ahead. If you were to attempt this mountain, it's important to pick the right path going through here down this little crack, as there's another path on the outside of the mountain that's much more dangerous. So we're heading up here, and it should be nice and easy to slide right down into this. And once we're down there, then we can go up. There's a drop. That's not a good rock to step on. The ice cave, sweet. Well folks, the ugly hat is out now. And I'm getting swarmed by mosquitoes, but let's look at this ice cave. Wow, check this out. So the next objective is we're going up there, right where the waterfall is, right, right beside it. Following this waterfall provided us with clean, fresh water and limited the amount of water weight we needed to carry. It leads up to Big Interior Glacier, one of the most amazing glaciers I've ever seen. Are you all right? Whoa, you right? Yeah. What we have here is solid iron. Mostly iron. It's really heavy. Like unbelievably heavy. It's gonna go the slab. Whoa. Whoa. Oh <laughs> look at that. To negotiate this. Oh yeah, this is interesting. Heads up, 
deep rocks. This is a no fall zone, folks. So, so far, this is the dangerous, most dangerous spot of the hike, which is pretty mild. Yeah, so from this side of the mountain, you can actually see all this part here is blue. Hopefully that comes up on camera, I'm not sure, but there's blue, the icy part, and then the snow white, white part. There's so many crazy rocks up here. There's like marble down here, and these purple rocks, and there's iron everywhere. There's just iron all over the ground. Look at this iron boulder. Probably weighs thousands of pounds. Just heading over to a little lookout point just before we summit. Just above the glacier here. Oh, wow. So that's gotta be Tom Taylor. And a whole bunch of other mountains. <laughs> and where we're going up here. So we're going up uh, final summit. Almost just found something. Gotta get around the mountain. There's my crew. Hey. It's hot out here. Is it really hot? The man, he's still got his shirt on, somehow. Still a little tarn up here too. And we can go look at the glacier. We're not at the top yet, folks. And it was making some creakety crackety sounds, which was really cool. <sighs> Sparkly rocks everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, Big Jim's this lake up here on top of Little Jim. So you look in the distance, this one with the swoop here, right there, that is Albert Edward, which I have a video on if you want to check that out. And we have the highest uh, peak on Vancouver Island over here, which is Golden Hind, and then to the left of it is the Behind. Oh, I'm clicked off. Gotta go back. So I was trying to see if I can go up that because this uh, trickling creek is pretty slippery. But it's the only way. I'm coming back your way. I think I'm just going to go straight up this. So this is the stuff I didn't want to walk on. Slippery. So this wasn't too bad, folks. Oh. Ouch. So, a little dicey up this because it's slippery and smooth. Now it's time for almost. almost.
about to put our crampons on, head up. We got about a quarter of the way up, but <laughs> a little too steep. I'm gonna go around here now. The main thing to worry about here is as we cross this glacier, there's a river that's running underneath and it's likely that this glacier is at least 20, 30, 40 feet thick. So we got some cracks up here. We gotta go down lower, stay away from that. But at certain points where the glacier's melting, it could be significantly less and we could potentially fall through. As we cross, we cross one by one and very quickly. All right, folks, we're in the danger zone here. Tiptoe quickly. better. Oh. Oh. Exhausting. The shape of this glacier has been changing with the outrageous hot temperatures we've been having. Yeah, that way you can see is really steep, especially the top. It's probably a good idea to bring an ice axe just to be safe. Well folks, that was a harrowing journey and Dean is coming up with the epic fog behind him. Upon reaching the top of the ridge here, I thought there might be a cornice, which is something you really need to be careful of. Having Erin as our leader up here, as she summited this multiple times, she pointed out that this is simply a snowdrift and not a cornice. So the summit is just up here somewhere, right there. Hopefully these clouds go away. Oh, you're not gonna go around on that snow? You're going up there? Yeah, I'm gonna just take this little chute and then take it off. Yeah, so they opted to go up the rock on the side. See what it came up? I might just jump off right here, yeah. Oh. oh, there we go. At this point, I was unable to enjoy the views of Nine Peaks as my nerves had been fried going up that glacier slope. As I start up this ridge walk, it looks like we have to climb a vertical wall to get up on the summit, but this isn't the case. You actually loop around the back and it's, it's not too scary of a climb. It just looks that way as you start to go up. Not knowing this though, I started to panic a bit inside and didn't know if I was gonna make it to the summit. With one foot in front of the other, I just watched where Dean was putting his feet and just followed him up till eventually I calmed down. Oh wow, that's, that's a... How'd you get across the Indiana Jones? Jump it? Yeah, I'm right. I'm kind of on the edge, but I'm right. You can hear Dean checking in on me just to make sure I'm okay. As I've stopped cracking jokes, they know that I'm pretty stressed at this point as I have a fear for exposure, especially when scrambling on rock. This summit ridge is by no means a knife edge. It's about 15 feet wide and then kind of drops off on both sides. You've got a bit of a ridge on one side, which is held up by a glacier. The other side, as you can see here, it drops off pretty dramatically. This is scary.
<laughs> Good freaking job. Thanks. Woo! Did it, David. Yeah. <laughs> no, you did. My nerves are burnt out. Oh, yeah. It, this thing was just wide enough I could do it. Yeah. Any skinnier, I'd probably have a panic attack and be back there. Yeah. I wonder if I brought my pen. I've been getting better at packing the pen. <laughs> so we're heading down now. There's way too much fog up here. But we have a little window of opening, so it's time to get out of here. Before it gets socked in, as it looks like it's going to do. After signing the registry at the top and getting a quick bite to eat, we had to get off the mountain quickly as the fog started to completely engulf the mountain, which would make for a very dangerous descent out of there. That is terrifying to get up here, to say the least. We got summit right behind you there. And um, yeah, it's time to head down because it's getting a little foggy and a little scary. Let's go. A little nerve wracking, <laughs> this one. Uh, with the fog though, it gets really scary. So we're gonna try to get down because it's en engulfing our uh, path down through the snow and it's just it's starting to open up a little bit so we got to go quick right now it's too bad i couldn't use my drone up there It'd be safer for those of you wanting to try this peak to be able to see how the trail loops up on the ridge and goes up on the back side of the mountain your camera doesn't go backwards eh, David? it does twice now i've sat on my oh. so we're going down in the cloud we're following our footsteps we're all good having a good time terrible visibility <laughs> 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 we'll just get filled up with duck noises. So we just came down the fog, <laughs> kind of a little sketchy, but it's all right. And then out of nowhere, you can see the summit. Oh, it just went away. It was just there. But yeah, the fog keeps coming in and out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We are down off the summit block now. About to sit and uh, kind of get some salt and some food. And you know, we sit here and look at the glacier. I'll give you one last look. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks cool. Check this out. Sweet, look at that. So there's some boulders breaking off the top there. Snow, big snow chunks. Just echoes when it comes down. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. This is one of the best hikes I've ever done. One of the best days of my life. This has been so remarkable. Everything we've seen out here and also accomplishing getting up there would really push me beyond my limits so it was, <laughs> it was pretty scary going up some of that stuff but I knew I had the technical uh, skill to do it it was just a matter of the fear itself so hopefully you enjoy this look at this amazing glacier unbelievable if you're an avid hiker you can easily get here you don't have to go summit and this is worth it alone so I'll leave my my track in my I'd rather be hiking Facebook group if you want to grab it and follow it up here and if you want to support me on patreon I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash davidhiking. And until the next episode, have a great day.